as a male, I could have 18, 30, 40, 50 women pregnant at the same time. As a female, you can only be pregnant by one man at a time. And further, it benefits you as a woman to stick to that man because the more you get pregnant, the more your value declines. Stretch marks, losing the vaginal elasticity, and all of these meaningful things that attract men. So you are one who should stick with a man. So monogamy is very meaningful for women, whereas for a male who has a lot of resources, monogamy is not a necessity. It's actually a detriment to you. I've always, I, I personally think if you're a man of a certain status and income, it's stupid for you to be monogamous. But you know no what I'm way. saying? But women st can still benefit from you not. <laughs> he said a lot, but let's just start with a simple question. Do y'all think being a deadbeat dad is only limited to broke men? I ask that because a lot of people lost in the sauce of capitalism and you believe that because you have a certain income or resources, this makes you immune to being a deadbeat. And I don't think that's true. And speaking of finance, it's another thing I want to bring up. If it doesn't make sense for a man making a certain income and resources, being in a monogamous relationship, you recognize that has to flip on the other way around too, right? If there are women that has a certain amount of income and resources, and I'm just wondering, does it make sense for them to be in a monogamous relationship? Another thing I want to bring up respectfully, if it is true, the more women gets pregnant, the more her value declines. This means the moment this sucker was conceived in the womb that he brought the value of his mother down. It's an obvious ugly trade off. He's literally making the argument that in order for the world to be birthed, people with wounds have to be devalued. So podcast that young got to be one of the most fragilely masculine podcasts I ever came across. It's structured by sucker solidarity, where boys get around other suckers where they attempt to appeal to each other by denigrating women, all because they the real ones and them other men be simping. But only middle school-minded men sees woman empowerment as simping. Really trying to define women based off the elasticity of their vagina? Come on, man. And every time I see this dude right here, he talking some shit about some women. The first time I seen him. Then I'll tell you why. The reason that you must be submissive is because everyone has their roles and the roles don't come out of thin air. The roles come directly out of biology. And it, let me show you why you are submissive. If I was there right now, I could make you submit. You ain't even got to take the option. I'll make you submit. And here's the difference. You can never flip the script and make me submit. Passive aggressive threats to make an intellectual point to a woman, sucker shit. And then that podcast, whatever it's called, it's only making headlines when they doing plantation patriarchy type shit. As a man, I'm suspect of any sucker that defines his manhood based off of how he dominates women or how he's above women. Sucker shit.